Hi, this is Xtal. Today we're using EdgeFX in Touch Designer to overlay subject outlines onto existing footage and craft a visualizer with an experimental vibe. I explored tons of node combinations and parameter tweaks to reach this result, so feel free to use my process as a base and modify it to create your own unique style. Let's get started. First, bring in the footage you want to process. Videos with fast motion or dynamic movement work best here, since EdgeFX responds well to rapid pixel changes. Use a movie file in top to import your source clip. Before adjusting the color levels, let's first convert the footage to monochrome. The monochrome top removes color data and simplifies the image to brightness values. Then connect level, null, and resolution nodes in sequence to refine the edges and set the output size. This step helps deliver a cleaner and well-balanced result. We connect a noise node to add organic texture and subtle motion. By adjusting the noise's scale, speed, and intensity, you bring depth and rhythm, making the visuals feel more alive and dynamic. Next, we use a transform node to slightly scale up the entire image. Adjusting the scale boosts the visual impact and helps emphasize motion and texture. I'll get the displace node ready for the next step. This node will help us apply texture-based distortion effects. We add another level node to deepen contrast and sharpen the image. This step makes the outlines and details stand out more clearly. Connect a limit node after the level node. Change the quantize value to round and slightly increase the value to refine the tonal range. Next, we connect a blur node to add a smooth softening effect. This brings a subtle atmosphere and depth to the visuals. I'll get the comp node ready to connect with the sparkling effect we'll create next.
This level node is used to isolate the brighter tones in the footage. After connecting it, we'll fine tune the parameters to precisely capture the desired brightness range. Connect a null node after the level node, then feed the output into the comp node we prepared earlier. We add another transform node after the comp node to slightly adjust the scale. This creates a subtle misalignment between the outlines and the original footage, adding a dynamic, offbeat feel. Connect transform 1 and 2 to the displace node we prepared earlier using cross inputs. This way, the two scale adjustments interact to create a more intricate displacement effect. We'll create a flickering effect using a noise node. Bring in a noise node and adjust its settings to produce a mostly white background. We'll connect the top two and noise. LFO nodes to create a flickering effect. Follow along step by step and feel free to experiment with variations to find the look that suits you best. You can see the brightness rise and fall rhythmically thanks to the to-top. Adjusting the LFO node changes the flicker speed, but this setting feels just right, so we'll move forward as is.
connect the noise to a new displace node. We repeat this step by feeding the two previously created displace nodes into a newly instantiated displace node. This layering of displacement effects compounds the distortion, producing a richer and more dynamic motion. Combining multiple displace nodes like this is a powerful technique to add depth and complexity to texture deformation. We'll use an emboss node to add a rough textured quality to the surface. This node enhances edge contrast introducing a subtle sense of depth and dimensional texture to the image. It's a great way to increase visual density and tactile feel in the final output. Now I'll go back through the nodes we've built so far and tweak the parameters to better match my visual style. This fine tuning stage can dramatically shift the feel of the output, so I highly recommend experimenting with the values on your end too. Even small adjustments can completely change the mood of the piece. Now we'll connect the edge node, the highlight of this effect, to the emboss. This is where we extract the outlines and overlay them onto the video as a visual layer. It creates a bold graphical look by isolating and emphasizing the subject's shape with clean lines. Compositing here is pretty straightforward. Just use an over node to layer the base video underneath. I'm adding a monochrome and a level node to set a desaturated, more minimal tone, but feel free to skip this or adjust the mood to fit your own footage. This part is all about personal style and creative direction.
Now connect the out node followed by a movie file out node, and you're ready to export. In the movie file out, just set your desired resolution, frame rate, and output path. Hit render, and your outline driven visualizer is good to go. Hope you enjoyed building this outline style visualizer with me today. I'll be back soon with something even more atmospheric and exciting. Big thanks to everyone supporting me. This effect is also available for download on my Patreon. See you next time.